hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from minus 1 to 1 1 over x times square root of 1 minus x square times natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x dx well what do you think about this problem okay uh, if you find the correct path i think this is an easy integral well, uh, I think you know about uh, odd and even function. So, as a first step, uh, I am going to write here. We know this is equal to 2 times. Now, uh, 0 to 1, 1 over x times the square root of 1 minus x square times natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x dx. Then, uh, as a next step, uh, I am going to take a substitution. Uh, x is equal to sin of y. Now, uh, we should differentiate. So, we have dx is equal to cosine of y times dy. Now, uh, we should change the boundary uh, limit. So, we know uh, here 2 times. Now, a lower limit when x approaches to 0, y approaches to also 0. When x approaches to 1, uh, we know y approaches to pi over 2. So, here pi over 2, 1 over. Now, x we know sine of y and here we have square root of 1 minus x square. So, 1 minus sine square of y, we know cosine square of y. Square root of cosine square of y, we know cosine of y. So, here uh, cosine of y uh, times natural log of y. 1 plus x we know sine of y over 1 minus sine of y uh, dx we know cosine of y dy now we know cosine of y we uh, get cancelled so we can write uh, here 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 over sine of y times natural log of 1 plus sine of y over 1 minus sine of y dy okay what do you think about this integral what's your next step okay now uh, i'm going to use the uh, watcher substitution so i'm going to take t is equal to t is equal to tan of y uh, sorry y over 2 tan of y over 2 now we can isolate the y so y we know 2 times arc tan of arc tan of t now we should differentiate so dy is equal to 2 times dt over 1 plus t square so uh, here now we can uh, plug in so here uh, 2 times now uh, limit boundaries we know 0 to uh, tan of 5 over 4 so here 1 now 1 over sine of y we know 2 times t over 1 plus t square natural log of 1 plus 2 times t over 1 plus t square over 1 minus 2 times t over 1 plus t square uh, dy we know 2 times dt over 1 plus t square now uh, let us simplify a little bit uh, here 1 plus t square 1 plus t square get cancelled 2 also get cancelled and here uh, after taking the um, common denominator we know 1 plus t square get cancelled so here we have 2 times integral from 0 to 1 uh, here 1 over t so 1 over t natural log of natural log of uh, here we have 1 plus t square plus 2 times t over 1 plus t square minus 2 times t t t then uh, 2 times integral from 0 to 1 1 over t natural log of uh, here we know 1 plus t square plus 2 times t is equal to 1 plus t perfect square also 1 plus t square minus 2 times t is equal to 1 minus t 
of x square so here 1 plus t over 1 minus t uh, 2 power here d t now uh, according to property of natural log uh, these two we can take outside of the integral sign so here 4 times integral from 0 to 1 1 over t natural log of natural log of 1 plus t natural log of 1 plus t minus natural log of 1 minus t d t okay then uh, we can split this integral into uh, two separate integrals so here we have four times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus t over t dt minus integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 minus t over t d t okay then uh, now we know uh, this is uh, very easy integrals uh, because uh, we know about uh, de logarithm function so integral representation of uh, de logarithm function l i 2 l i 2 of c is equal to in uh, minus integral from 0 to c natural log of 1 sorry uh, here 1 minus u here 1 minus u over uh, u d u therefore uh, we can write our integral is equal to uh, here 4 times uh, now uh, here minus uh, de logarithm of minus 1 plus de logarithm of 1 now uh, we know uh, here 4 times uh, here minus uh, li2 of minus 1 de logarithm of minus 1 uh, is equal to we know minus eta of 2 plus li2 of 1 de logarithm of 1 we know uh, theta of 2 now here minus minus plus uh, so we have 4 times now uh, eta of 2 so here we have 5 square over 12 theta of 2 we know 5 square over uh, 6 uh, if we simplify this uh, we know here uh, 2 phi square so 3 phi square over uh, 12 so 4 times 3 times 5 square over 12 and uh, 4 times 3 we know 12 12 get cancelled and here we have 5 square ok this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching